Hello guys. Our topic today is how to configure high availability for Azure VMs. In this video you will learn about availability zone, availability set, how to create an availability set from the Azure portal and uh, Azure PowerShell, how to create a VM in an existing availability set, as well how to create a VM in availability zone, check the existing availability option and uh, this uh, info is part of skill measured for AZ-103 Azure Administrator and AZ-300 Azure Architect Technologies. Ok, before beginning don't forget to hit the subscribe button for upcoming videos as well ask a question if something is, uh, is not clear. When we talk about Azure High Availability for Virtual Machines we have three options. Uh, first is availability set, second availability zone and the last one scale set. Uh, by using availability zones your VM will be placed on physically separated infrastructure with no shared resources. This assume are protected from entry data center failures. For this option data centers are equipped with independent power, cooling and uh, network. By using availability sets, your VMs will be protected from failures that may, may happen with a data center. With this option, Azure ensures that your VMs uh, you place with an availability set run across multiple physical servers, computer rack, storage units and uh, network switches. If a hardware or Azure software failure occurs, only a subset of your VMs are impacted and your overall application stays up and will continue to be available. As well, we have um, scale sets that are designed to create and manage a group of identical load balanced VMs. Scale sets provide high availability to your application and uh, allow you to centrally manage, configure and update a large number of VMs but I would like to create a separate video about scale set because uh, of the amount of information and we'll focus on availability set and uh, and so on. Now if it's quite clear what is the difference between availability set and availability zones, let's start the implementation to create a new availability set via CLI. Um, I will use Visual Studio Code to do this. As well, you have two options here to use uh, the CLI or PowerShell commands. This uh, doesn't matter because we are using the same parameters. The difference is only in the syntax. Um, I will use PowerShell commands because I am more familiar. Ok, let me first connect to my uh, Azure account. Ok, now I'm connected to my Azure account. Uh, before creating an availability set, let me check a resource group name. Get az resource group. Just copy one of these. Western Europe. I will copy yes US this one. Okay. So new Z availability set. First parameter is name of our availability set. Availability set VM yes US for application serve free resource group name that I just made a copy. The next parameter is SQL. This parameter is used to define the type of disk 
attach it to to your VM and uh, we can use two value here classic that is used for unmanaged disk and uh, align for managed disk this one okay the next um, two parameters are most important because uh, you define a file domain and update domains what does it mean uh, a file domain it is a rack of servers that share the common power source and physical network switches which is uh, an update domain uh, is like a logical unit and uh, VMs in the same update domain will be restarted together during planning or unplanned maintenance made uh, by Azure. Update domains indicate a uh, group of VM and uh, underlying physical hardware that can be rebooted at the same uh, at the same time. Okay, platform first one is fault domain count I'll use two and the last one is uh, platform update domain count as well too and the last parameter that is important is location yes US why is important because uh, file domain is limited to free for some region uh, is limited to to file domain and the update domain because it's logical is limited to 20 uh, these two parameters uh, define availability set that work as a logical grouping of two or more VMs that help keep your application available during planned or unplanned maintenance okay what we have in this diagram it's a configuration of fault and update domains and for better understanding let's assume that you have uh, 12 virtual machines and uh, you are hosting a critical application on them you have three file domains and the four update domains configured in your availability set and the limit of your application to work is uh, for VMs to be running okay now we can create a rule that will not permit to Azure to suspend your VMs during planned or unplanned maintenance uh, and this will happen at a different time because we have created a validity set and that is working as a rule you just say hey Azure don't fail more than 4 VMs in the same time from this availability set and Azure will take care to avoid reset or reboot of your VMs from different update domains as well Azure will take care to migrate your VM on a host that is not involved in the different maintenances and you will not see this as well your business will not be impacted okay let's create this uh, this availability set okay what we have here that our resource that this availability set was deployed in this resource group the name of our availability set location that is very important as i said before and here we have a file domain and update domain too Okay, now let's start to deploy an availability set from uh, from Azure portal. This is quite easy. Mm, okay, add a new one. Uh, first of all, select your resource group. As well, name your new availability set. Availability set VM yes US for application 005 six seven okay 
the region as I said before, in some regions you have just uh, two file domains, so keep in mind this when you deploy an availability set. As well, manage disk, classic and uh, align. This is parameter that I have defined here. SQ. Uh, next one is a proximity placement group. Usual, usually this uh, is used for latency for your resourcing during migration from one host to another. If you want to create a group, you should do this before creating this um, availability set. And to create uh, a group, you just select the region and the name of your the name of your group. Next one, tags. And um, here, the tab to review your configuration and create button. Now let's deploy a VM inside of uh, an availability set. Let me do this from Azure portal. I want to mention one thing here. When you want to deploy a VM inside of the existing availability set, first of all select your resource group. Keep in mind to be the resource group should be in the same as uh, availability set. Let me name my VM Azure VM application test 003 for example okay and uh, if you remember my availability set uh, has been created in yes us i should use as well yes us because uh, if i'm trying to use uh, another location for example Yes, US. I will need to create a new ability set for this uh, for this region. So keep in mind this. I will back to my Yes, US. The next configuration doesn't matter because we are focusing just for availability option in this video. So I will go fast. Uh, through the next uh, options. Okay, the deployment of uh, this machine is completed. Now, if you want to check your ability set, use this uh, command get a z availability set and name of your set as VM. Yes. VM yes US application zero three. Okay, and um, and what we have here, we have all your configuration plus uh, VM that was added five five minutes ago. I consider enough for availability set. And let's check uh, availability zone, which is pretty simple. And you don't have to do some complex configuration. Just select from the start of deployment how many zones you want, and that's it. Okay, let's go back to Azure portal, VM, and uh, create a new VM. Okay. What I want to mention uh, related to availability zone. First of all, there's no additional cost for your virtual machine deployed in an availability zone, but you you will pay for VM data transfer chargers, and for one terabyte you will pay about 100 US dollars instead of this price. You'll have a good CLI, of course, about. 99.99% uh, .99%. Okay, let's create a VM a VM application 004 as well test yes, the US availability zone and you just select your availability zone the number of how many zones you want how many zones you want 
let me do burst of configuration it will be fast okay uh, the deployment of this machine as well is completed go to resourcer uh, we'll try to find information about the build zone and this can be checked here in overview of your virtual machine and you can see your location now is zone 3 and you have free availability zone as well you can check this from CLI using get az vm vm name mm, avm application test 04 and resource group name okay the zone configuration can be found here if you ask me if the number of availability zone can be changed uh, my answer is uh, no you can do this but not in direct way to change from properties or something like that you will need to make a migration of the vault resource okay let me know if you are interested in this topic how to migrate a vm from availability zone to to another basically this uh, this can be done via disaster recovery from here advanced setting and here you can choose your target uh, and uh, and configure new availability zone or something like that uh, if you have additional question regarding the availability set and the uh, zones don't hesitate to ask me the next video will be how to configure monitoring for azure vms if you find this information useful please subscribe to upcoming videos and uh, see you next time thank you